This is a patient with progressive supranuclear palsy. The disease is characterized by exit rigidity, posture instability, bulbar signs, and supranuclear gaze palsy. I'm trying to get him to look to the left, and he's not able to move his eyes to the left nor to the right, and his movement is quite limited in up gaze and down gaze as well. Classically, vertical saccades are initially affected, but then as the disease progresses horizontal, saccades become affected as well as in this patient. And here I'm doing the doll's head maneuver, and you can see that the eye movement improved both on the vertical and the horizontal plane, confirming the supranuclear origin of the gaze palsy.